And over 25 some years of doing seminars, people have had this experience many times of leaving a seminar and riding home in the car, talk about what they heard and nobody else heard that being said. And then they get the tape and it wasn't on the tape. <laughs> and they write to me and I say, yes, that was said, but it was not said physically. And then they get discourses and they read the discourses. And then they tell somebody what's on a certain discourse and they say, oh, that isn't that discourse. And they go, yes, it is. It's on page such and such. They go back to read it and it isn't there and they think I erased it. <laughs> My job is soul transcendence, not erasing things out of discourses. <laughs> My job has always been to remember you that you are part of God and you are that extension of divine and to keep you remembering yourself into that. And there's a real fundamental reason if we just look at scientifically, just the physics of it. Well, we'd have to look at it psychologically on a lot of levels. We condition ourselves from early childhood to think and express ourselves in this contracted conditioned form we call the physical body. And yet, there are so many evidential things that indicate to us that we are not just particularly that. We are peculiarly that, but not particularly that. That which is, is who we really are. It's very, very difficult to tell you the magnificence of your beingness and that this form that reflects light called the physical body is just a small percentage of who and what we are. And we start to rejoice in the wondrousness that we're part of a creation that is our own, that a God creator form that we're extension of has that type of magnificence and knows all of us by our name and recognizes us as the divinity. Beirush Beishan.